For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's going on, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and today we're going to be opening up another of these Espeon GX Premium Collection Boxes. Of course, you see mine sitting here right now, but this is not just another standard opening. This is actually going to be a dual battle versus another team of Poketubers. So on my team, I've got Mouse Alchemist, who actually is the one that designed the mat that you kind of see portion of it here. There's like just a little bit of it showing there. You can see that. Um, she actually designed that mat and had it printed for me uh, through another company. But I mentioned her before, and that is Mouse Alchemist. So if you guys are not familiar with her, go ahead and check out her channel. And um, of course, she does these custom mats too. So uh, if you guys are interested in a custom mat, you guys can hit her up for that. And we are using our collective efforts here. She's opening up the Umbreon box. I'm opening up the Espeon GX, GX box, and it's going to be against Pokemon Unwrapped and the Pokemon Lab. We're going to be opening the same two boxes. Um, I'm not sure who's opening which one. I, th I thought I knew at one point, but now I forgot. So whatever it is, uh, <laughs> those are the two channels we're facing up against. Links will be in the description down below. So this is a collective team effort. Myself and Mouse Alchemist versus the Pokemon Lab and Pokemon Unwrapped. So between the four boxes, it'll be mine and Mouse's versus the Pokemon Labs and Pokemon Unwraps. So you guys will have a chance to go check out all those videos. Let us know which team did better overall out of our team's 12 total packs. Six of mine, six of Mouse's, and then of course the 12 from the other side. So now that that's all out of the way and explained, be sure to go check them out, guys. But remember, we have the Tapu Chicken on our side. So we are with the chicken and the chicken is with us. That is the new motto for today, seeing as how this is a team effort. I'm not sure if we've ever done a team pack battle before. So this is actually a little bit new in that regard. Uh, that's why we're doing viewer's choice, because I think points, watching four videos and trying to calculate the amount of points and stuff, it probably would take a little bit too much longer than what most people would put the effort in for, so we're just going to see how things go. Now again, this is the second time we're opening up this particular box, but look at this promo, guys. This Espeon GX promo is so beautiful. I really hope this one is in good shape, because I would like to eventually get one of these graded, just because they're so awesome. Um, I'm going to try my best to take this out, but I'm actually going to wait till after the video to check it out because the back of this one actually looks pretty good, except for maybe like one dot up there. Uh, nope, nope, that was a piece of dust. Perfect. So I'm going to take this out a little bit later and see if we can pull out a grade worthy card. We also have our Espeon coin in there as well. Not to mention, we also have our Espeon pin which I also really like. Espeon is actually my favorite out of the two. I do like Umbreon a lot, but I think Espeon has uh, Umbreon be just a little bit in my eyes. Now we have another one of these Galactic Foil Eevees. Uh, this one is in much better shape than the last one I pulled out here. I'm gonna show you guys again, if you don't remember. This came out of the box with that crease right there in it. It was just so bad. Like you guys can see it pretty clearly uh, where the ridging is at right there. It was so bad. And then there's also another one up here. It's like up here in the foil. It's also got another scratch and a crease. So hopefully that does not become an issue. I still need to contact Pokemon about that. Hopefully they do something about it. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And we also have another Umbreon GX, which is from the set Sun and Moon Base. And this one's just a little bit warped, but other than that, uh, it's not too bad either, so not too much damage coming out of there either. Can't really uh, be too upset about that one. So in all in all, the quality of this box is definitely better than the previous one. We also have our Jumbo promo here as well. Once again, our Espeon GX Sun and Moon number 35 Jumbo promo. So this is my second one of these. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with that one just yet, so we'll have to figure that one out. But we also have some packs to open here, and this is where you guys come into play. Make sure you guys pay very close attention to these polls here, and then go check out the other three videos and let us know which team did better. Remember, the team for me is Mouse Alchemist and us versus Pokemon Lab and Pokemon Unwrapped. So there's the TCGO code, which one we're going to be using probably. And here we go. So the packs that we get inside of here are the same as before. We've got two of the Guardians Rising, one Evolutions, one of the Sun and Moon, a Breakthrough, and a Steam Siege. So everything here is basically post-rotation stuff at this point. So we're going to leave the chicken for last. He's going to go up here and oversee this whole opening, and hopefully we will come out with some pretty awesome pulls out of this box. 
the last two, I would say they were okay. They weren't too bad. Uh, not, not, not terrible anyway, so hopefully this one will put that one to shame. As usual, we're going to start off with Evolutions because, once again, I don't know, me personally, I just, I, it's not that I don't like Evolutions, I think it's a great nostalgia set, but, I don't know, I guess I'm just kind of tired of it. Uh, we've opened up so much Evolutions, and there's really nothing to go for other than, like, the starter Megas that are really that cool of cards. Uh, Dragonite's pretty cool, I guess, but that's about it. And we're starting off about the way you would expect. <laughs> <laughs> with a nice solid green code card. All right. So here we go, guys. Our pack has inside of it a Ponyta, a Drowsy, an Electabuzz, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Brock's Grit, Maintenance, Switch. But don't let this green card fool you because we've got a Starmie Break, which is an ultra rare. So we're going to start off with a nice little ultra rare there and a Dugong non hollow rare so we're not doing points but if we were we'd be starting off with a nice solid three points here even if it is just a break it still is an ultra rare all right next pack we're gonna move on to here is breakthrough with mega hound doom on the front there are a few cards that are going to be really really good in the next formats because of the way that rotation occurred that occur here in breakthrough this means nothing because breakpoint was the start of the proper code cards that you see today. I wouldn't say proper, but you know what I mean. The variation of code cards that we're used to seeing started in Breakpoint. So we don't know what this could be, which I actually prefer. So we're gonna start off here with an Axew, a Scatterbug, Teddy Ursa, Remoraid, Hoot Hoot, Pinsir, Starmie. Hey, it goes right along with that Starmie break over there. We've got a Buddy Buddy Rescue, another break. Oh man, we got a Raichu break and a Mr. Mime. So again, if this were a points battle, that is already six points. Two ultra rares out of this so far. I was not gonna expect us to pull that many breaks right off the bat, my goodness. All right, let's move on to something a little more current here, and that is Sun and Moon Base. So we're gonna take three, throw the code, or throw the card card, throw the energy card off to the side there. And in this pack, we've got a Surskit, Young Goose, Litten, Fero, Paris, Golbat, Professor Kukui, Urraquanid, Rare Candy Reverse, that's actually pretty darn good playability wise, and a Golduck non hollow rare. Gotta be holding on to that uh, rare candy though, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and go on to Guardians Rising. Maybe not have it too back to back. We'll leave uh, Steam Siege there for our next one. I'm not gonna bother showing the code card this time. I feel like you guys probably don't like it if I spoil the code card too much, so we're gonna get away from doing that a little bit more going forward. All right, so we have a Wishy-Washy, Vanillite, Clefairy, Rockruff, a Barboach, Brooklet Hill, Slowbro. Man, too bad N is working right now because he would love to see this invisible card, as he likes to put it. We've got a Komala, Reverse Hollows, a Pseudo Widow, again, was playable before, not so much anymore, and an Oracorio, non hollow rare, Lightning type. There are a few different types of Oracorio for those of you who are not fully aware of that, so had to mention that. I know there's a fire type, a psychic type, and a lightning type currently at the moment in TCG. All right, next up. All right, we got three. This is going back to Steam Siege. We've got Mantine, Meowth, Larvesta, Fletchling, Oshawott, Shieldon, Special Charge, Tangrowth, Litwick Reverse, and a Kling Clang Hollow. Even though it's a little bit hard to see, the hollow pattern is there ever so slightly in the background. And all I have left at the moment is, oh wait, nope, there's more up here, ha ha. I did not see them before. We've got more sleeves hiding up on top of my uh, Generations Elite Trainer boxes. So if this were to be a points battle, that's eight points. Not too bad, not too bad. But now we depend on the luck of the Tapu Chicken himself or herself, or itself. I don't think it has a gender, so it's gonna be itself at this point. Let's just hope the chicken is with us. Because so far, all we have are two breaks and a hollow, which is nothing to sneeze at, but be nice to see a little bit of GX, full art, or secret rare luck in these packs. So we got three, energy card over there, and two. All right, final pack, here we go. We've got Patrat, Gothita, Castform, Tentacool, Clefairy, Gliscor, 
Machoke, Altar of the Moon, Reverse Hollow Rare, Galissapod, which would be worth a point if it were a points battle, and Heliolisk, non hollow rare. Burr, burr, burr. Oh well. So, we did get one Reverse Rare, one Hollow, and two Technical Ultra Rares, even though Breaks are not necessarily that much value-wise. They are still Ultra Rares, so uh, six, eight, nine points if it were a points battle. You have to see what Mouse Alchemist can bring to the table for our team, and then we'll have to see what comes up between the Pokemon Lab and Pokemon Unwrapped on their side of things to see who will come out victorious amongst the four of us, or the two of us, I should say, our two teams. Which two Poketubers will come out on top? That is the question. But that is up to you guys, so make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let us know who you think wins this four-way Pokemon battle. I should say, actually, it's a team battle, so... All right, this Pokemon team battle between the four of us. Let us know which team wins in the comment section down below. And of course, be sure to check out their channels. There'll be video links in the description so you guys can check out all of their videos. And also be sure to subscribe to us if you're brand new to the channel and in like what you see. And then of course, make sure you guys uh, comment down below who wins and all that good stuff. So like the video if you liked it and we will see you guys in the next one. I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries. You all take care, have a great day. <laughs>